Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part about starting your cut or changing your cut path. I'm going to hit the tab key. It's going to cut, and if you haven't watched the first video on this, you might want to watch it. You might be a little bit confused because what we're doing, we're cutting out name tags or badges that aren't using, so you don't have to cut double lines. But the other day I showed them a video how you could change, so it's going to cut, it's going to start here and cut this then i'm going to hit the tab key it's going to cut that bar and then it's going to cut that so i've got them in the right order but if you look at the let's let's zoom in here and i hope you can see this in the video we're going to click on this one my arrows are going this way so this thing's going to start cutting right here and go over here and even though this is next it's going to have to move from there to there so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to hit reverse subpaths. Now my arrows are starting here. So the cut's going to start here and end here. Now let's get the shape tool. Now this way my arrows are going up. So I'm going to click on that arrow and I'm going to put reverse subpath. Same thing here. My arrows are backwards. Reverse subpath. So now, and I just went out the shop to do a test on this. Let's click on this. It's going to cut this line starting right here. It's going to move around in non-stop. It's going to cut this one and this one. And then you could continue on with your cut pass. And probably the best way to do that would be to maybe select. I don't know if this is even going to work. Yeah. So there's our first sub path. So let's go with our tab key and then our next cut is going to be this top one so we need to look at which way and see it's going right there which is you really can't get around it but it is backwards so we're going to reverse sub path we're going to click on this we're going to reverse sub path we're going to click on this we're going to reverse sub path and all i'm doing is changing the path of the order so now we can move this back, and this is why I should have used the nudge distance key to do it, and because uh, we could put it right back, and maybe I did, no, I didn't. But uh, so let's just put it back close for the video. So now with your tab key, if you click on your first one and tab, it's going to cut those lines, and I think we got a line here, and to see the sub passes backwards. So if you didn't reverse it, it's going to cut, it's going to cut there. Then it's going to jump all the way over here and cut this line backwards. So this will really help you. Uh, it's not going to save that much time, but there might be another situation where this would be very benef beneficial to reverse the sub pass. Now there's another way to do it. You know, a viewer told me about it today. Let's convert this to a curve. And in the other video, I changed the, the path just by flipping the box but let's say it well let's just do that let's make another box here and let's weld them together so now we got a weird shape our, our path is right there we can't flip that but let's say we wanted it to start here left click on it break break it apart close curve I believe we'll do it. Now our starting point is right there. I don't even, maybe we didn't even need to close it. Break it apart. No, when you break it apart, well, you do need to close it because you've got a double, a double uh, node there. You can see that arrow outside the arrow. So we need to close. So now we only have one arrow. Hope I hope you can see that in video. So now it's going to start right there. Now, if we wanted to reverse it, left click, reverse up path. And it's going to start here and cut all the way around it there. And that would only be beneficial to you if you're cutting out a lot of these. And you're going to control D. And you were going to do it like, well, I didn't. I was not paying attention to what I was doing. Uh, control D. Control flip. And then we're going to move it over just a hair so they won't burn up. And... Um, Anyway, so now your subpath will start here and end there. 
and start there. So the laser doesn't have to jump. Let's say, let's make this our new path. Break apart. Close. So now it's going to cut here. And then it's going to have to go all the way up here, the laser. And we're not talking a lot of time, but you got, if you had a lot of parts, it'd be better not to have the laser move very much. It'd be really beneficial in these name tags because you've got so many broken lines. Anyway, hope that wasn't too confusing and thank you for watching.